welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain few more additional properties which is there in convolution in previous session i have explained those basic properties which was there regarding convolution in this session i'll explain some additional property now let us have those properties so for that first i'll be considering if i say convolution of x of t and h of t that is equals to y of t in that case you will be observing some cases like see if i differentiate y of t with respect to time so in that case one can apply this differentiation to any out of these two like see one can differentiate x of t with respect to time and convolve with h of t and second way is even you can take x of t as it is and differentiate h of t with respect to time so this is very important property like differentiation so that could be actually suffer to any of that two signal if sometimes what happens is like differentiation of x of t is easier so in that case i think one should go for differentiation of x of t but if you see this is complicated one to differentiate x of t and easier to have differentiation of h of t in that case you can exchange that differentiated differentiation over here so that is what very useful property and that you will be going to utilize in so many examples so i have mentioned it over here now one more interesting property that is convolution of unit step signal so if you have two unit step signal and if you convolve that so that will be ram signal so convolution of two unit step signal that will be ram signal r of t and shifting is even applied to this so if i say we have u of t minus t1 convolve with u of t minus t2 so in that case convolution of this two that will be r of t minus t1 and plus t2 so what i have done is i have added that shifting which is happening inside so this is what basic property like convolution of two unit step that is ram signal and if shifting is there one should go for shifting and algebraically we need to add all those shifting which is happening inside so this is very important property inside now one more interesting property that is what is image so now see as i have earlier told x of t convolution with h of t that is y of t right and now if you have image of y of t like y of minus t so in that case when you do convolution you will have to apply that image to both of that signal so h of minus t convolution with sorry x of minus t convolution with h of minus t so image of that that has to get applied to both of that signal so if you have x of t and h of t then it will be y of t but if you have x of minus t h of minus t in that case you will have y of minus t so image that has to get applied to all signals it is not like you will have to apply it to only one signal it should be applied to all signals so this is even very much important property now at last i'll be giving you one more additional property that is if you have m times of differentiation of x of t if you have n times of differentiation of x of t so that is d n x of t by d t raised to n means differentiation of x with respect to t n times right and if you convolve that with differentiation of y m times with respect to time so that is practically differentiation n plus m times of y with respect to time so ultimately whatever times you have differentiation you will have to apply it to y of output signal right so if you have n times differentiation of x and m times differentiation of y 
in that case resultant will get sorry edge over here it is edge so resultant will get differentiated with algebraic addition of total differentiation which is happening with those two signal which is getting converted here so these are some additional properties and this properties even we need to apply it in examples so i have mentioned it here please note down it in future sessions you will be finding videos based on examples where we will be using all those properties which i have mentioned here thank you so much for watching this video please give your suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video